Hi guys and welcome back to WP Data Table Tutorials. So in today's video we're going to show you how you can make one of the more popular tables with WP Data Table, which is a pricing table where you can showcase different uh, offers, licenses, pricing plans that you have and uh, how you can customize them. So before we get started with the video, I just have a little hint for you guys. So Black Friday is starting a bit early for us. And starting from tomorrow, you can check out on our website the offer for uh, the Black Friday discount this year and grab any licenses uh, that you want. So don't forget, tomorrow, uh, open the WP Data Table website and check out the Black Friday uh, discount coupon and the um, whole shebang this year. And now let's just dive right into the video. Okay. Uh, now, a lot of you guys asked how you can create tables like this. So, uh, these three tables are all simple tables. You can see these under uh, Table Examples, WordPress, Pricing, Tables. There's a tutorial on how you can create them. Text tutorial, which is find in here under Support, then under Examples, and here it is, how to create pricing table example number three. Uh, this is opened in a new tab here, so it's easier for you guys to follow. And now all we need to do is create a table from scratch, which is a simple table. Now let's name it pricing table number three. And we need three columns and one row. So now we click on generate the table and we get an empty table. So we need to add this data into cells. So this goes into cell number one. This goes into cell number two. And the last one goes into cell number three. So once we do this, click away. Once we do this and save this table, we get a plain table, which is not very pretty. Uh, and it's shown in the documentation right here. So to get the table that looks like this, you need to actually add the table to your page. We've prepared a pricing table page. We will edit it with uh, Elementor and we'll add a widget right here, which is WP data tables. Here it is. And once we add it, we select the table and update. So when we take a look at this page on the front end, we will see this basic table. So we need to copy all this and add it to the page. So you need to add this custom CSS to the page. Now, as you can see, this custom CSS contains the ID of the table 177. And this table that we have is ID number two. So we need to change that. We will open up, I will open up Sublime, paste this and just look for uh, 177, find it all and replace it with two. So now copy that and add a new uh, widget here, which would be HTML. And now add style, paste this and update. So the pricing table on the front end looks like this now. It's not as wide as it is it's wide here. And this is because of the container of the page itself. Now in Elementor, you can change that. So uh, the width is, for example, full width. And when you update it and refresh the page, you should see the full width of the container, which is again in Elementor, the container itself. Now this offers some uh, play around. Uh, you guys can play around with this in your uh, builder and increase the width to be the full size, but we're not gonna do that right now because it's, it looks nice to me. Yeah. So I don't want everything to be across the whole page. And uh, of course, these colors come from this custom CSS that we've pasted. You guys can play around with it. You can play around with the box shadow, with the font size, the font color, everything. So you get the page, uh, the table example to look exactly like you want. Yeah. So this is just a template, guys. I hope you found this useful. You can, as uh, Alexander said, customize it, go down with your own colors and branding. Uh, maybe add another column if you have more uh, pricing plans that you want to offer to your customers and users. But this is a template which you can easily use and adapt to your own. And before we sign off, I want to mention again to check out our website tomorrow for WP Data Tables and the Black Friday offer, which is coming a bit early for us to 
this year. And of course, if you have any other questions or suggestions or recommendations, anything uh, like that, please leave those down below in the comments. And while you're there, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. Take care, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.